हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी व्हाट इज़ अ ब्लूम फिल्टर सो इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर एनी वन टू अंडरस्टैंड अ ब्लूम फिल्टर बिकॉज रिफरिंग सो मेनी एग्जाम्पल्स वी आर नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड एक्चुअली वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू सो प्लीज बी केयरफुल विद दिस एग्जाम्पल इट इज जस्ट अ थेरोटिकल पॉइंट सो बट इट इज़ वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड फॉर सम वन सो लेट स्टार्ट सो ब्लूम फिल्टर इज नथिंग बट इट इज अ स्पेस एफिशियंट प्रोबैबलिस्टिक डेटा that is whether uh, for which we are able to find that the member the particular element that is in our set or not so for referring to whether the element is in set or not we are using an array so if the element is written in false positive if it is false positive then it is a condition that it is possibly in the set and if it returns false negative so it is the condition that it is not definitely not in the set so why use bloom filter so a big question rises in your mind so why should we use a bloom filter so if you want to able to know certain element is uh, not in the set or uh, whether it is in set we have to do uh, extra work so for that we have to fire use bloom filter to find whether the element is in the set or not and it also allow us to store the binary bits instead of uh, uh, taking all the keys uh, which is very easy for us to have the data so starting with the bloom filter the first step is uh, we have to draw an array so it should be an n bit array uh, you may take the array of 10 bits it uh, the array of 5 bits exact whatever you want so first of all you have to initialize the array uh, to all bits to zero so this is the first step you should do before taking example uh, so next our next step is the elements uh, after uh, initializing all the bits to zero so you have to check whether the element uh, you have to check with the hash functions so we have to take two hash functions one is uh, for taking input and output for two conditions uh, we have to take the two uh, hash functions one is fnv and other is murmur so here i have taken for the example two hash functions are there 3x plus 3 mod 6 and second one is 2x plus 3 mod 5 so here i have done with i have taken two example suppose for 8 suppose for 10 so 8 for 8 if we are putting the value of x in uh, x if we are putting 8 in place of x so we are getting 3 into 8 it's 24 24 plus 3 27 27 mod 6 is we are getting 3 as a remainder and for same we are getting 4 and for 10 we are getting 3 and 3 so don't look at this 48 and 47 i will tell uh, why i have taken this okay so we are getting 3 4 so 3 4 the remainder we are getting 3 4 so put the bits to uh, 1 so 3 4 we have put to 1 and for 10 we are getting 3 and 3 so you have put 1 so there is no need to do it again so here i have taken only two examples so just put that bits to uh, 1 okay um so we have put the these two bits to one suppose uh, for example if you want to take one bit more but i have to change all my data set so let it be okay let it be i will take one example let it uh, what i can take let it uh 29 9 okay i'll take 9 so 9 3 into 9 is 27 27 plus 3 is 30 30 mod 6 so it's 30 mod 6 so 6 fives are 30 right so it's 0 so first our bit is coming 0 and for 9 9 2 18 18 3 18 plus 3 is 21 21 mod 5 so we are getting 1 so 0 1 so make this bit also 1 so i have just given example so you should understand so 18 8 10 9 we have get 3 the things which we are available uh, the things we have get so put all the bits to 1 and remaining bit should be 0 so uh, i have taken three examples here now our next is to check whether the element is in set okay so from this we have find the positions and we have also put the bits to zero suppose if 
in this array if our bits are to zero then it is sure that the array uh, the element is definitely not in the set and if it is one the element is present in the set now uh, for now i will tell you why we have taken 48 and 7 so suppose 48 and 7 i am taking for 48 3 into 48 what is the example 3 into 48 what it is 3 is 24, 144, 144 plus 3, 147, 147 divided by 6, 6 2 is 12, 6 4 is 24. Okay, for 48, we are getting 3, and for this 2 into 48, 48 into 2 is 96. 96 plus 3 is 99 99 mod 5 is nothing but we are getting 4 so 3 4 so 3 and 4 are 1 here so this 48 is possibly in the set if it is 1 then we are getting in the set so 48 is possibly in our set Uh, well, I am writing possibly in the set because uh, we have find the uh, false negative and false positive. So, there are only two things which are uh, in bloom filter. So, this is false positive. Now, let us look at the 7. Now, for the 7, we have uh, 7 into 3, 21, 21 plus 3, 24, 24 mod 6. It is 0. And uh, 3 into 2 what is 7 2 is of 14 14 plus 3 it's 17 17 mod 5 it's 2 so 0 2 so for this i have changed the example so 0 here is 1 but here 2 we have 0 bit so you have to say if one is positive and other one is negative so you have to set it is not in the set it is not in the set okay it is not in the set if both are zero one is true one is negative then it is the condition directly it is false if both are one then you have to say it is in the set if one is true another one is false or both are false so we have to direct put it false so it's give a clear indication indication that it is either true or totally false so this is about the bloom filter so i hope you like this video please like and subscribe this thank you